Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I thought I would show you guys some of my favourite pens that I use in my Stalogy because I do always get asked, um, you know, which pens I use, which fountain pens I use um, and things like that and how obviously like um, they work, they write on the Stalogy paper. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I will do like my normal kind of pens first and then I'll go through some of the fountain pens that I have so I've got like some of my favorites here I'll take them out for you guys so I do have two of these kind of Coletto pens I guess they're called um this is actually a pilot um high-tech c coletto and it's a three barreled pen i have had previous ones where they're like four or even five ones um and obviously you can take you know they you have replaceable um cartridges for it so i've got a 0 0.3 in there and then also 0 0.4 so they are you know really good for kind of when you want a few different colors or a few different sizes of nibs so that's the 0 0.3, that's the 0 0.4. Um, so yeah, they are a great choice. They don't really smudge much. Um, you can obviously use highlighters. It's my Muji over it as well. Um, you might have to wait like, you know, a few seconds. Um, but they write really, really nice and they are definitely like my, my favourite pen. Um, then the uni jet stream 3 is this is in 0 0.38 um again different colors um they do write slightly different to the other one the um coletto i'm not sure i can explain what the difference is but sometimes in my stalogy this jet stream one will kind of um almost like there'll be bits on the paper where it won't write like it will just skip whereas that doesn't ever seem to happen with the high tech c coletto ones um but again you know they are definitely my favorite pens and i do like you know the thinner pens are better for me so i will always go for like 0 0.3 or like this one 0 0.3 and 4 0 0.4 and this one is 0 0.38 so those are some of my favorites um then again, this is a Pentel Energel pen. And I think, you know, lots of people have got these in different colors. I think this is zero, yep, yeah, this is 0.4. You can get them in like, I'm not sure if you can get them in a thinner nib, but you definitely can get them in a fatter nib, basically. It just really writes um, very smooth. Again, not, you know, not much smudging. I think it's a good pen. All of these pens are good pens if you're like left-handed. Um, and again, yeah, if you use a highlighter, it's great. Um, so this is a Pilot GTEC C4 pen, which writes really, really nice. Um, for some reason, as you can see, it just sometimes, I th and I think it is the Stalogy paper, because it does have, like, the Stalogy paper does come with kind of like a coating on the page. So sometimes this pen, just, even though I love it and it's really beautiful, and on my monthly, <clears throat> excuse me, where I have, like, Tomorrow River paper, like an insert printed, it will write completely fine, no problem. So I think, depending on the paper that you use, um... This is a really good pen, probably not my first choice or even second choice for using um, in my Stalogy though. But I did want to share it because when I use inserts, I will always use this pen. Um, then I have this Energel, Pentel Energel liquid gel pen. So I think it's pretty similar to this, except this says it's a liquid one and it says needle tip. So again very smooth i did have it in the blue as well but then i dropped it while it was like <laughs> open um and it has damaged the nib unfortunately but you know all these pens are relatively cheap to pick up um i think this one was only like two or three quid on ebay or amazon um but again definitely one of my favorites that i reach for 
Um, then we have the Pilot G2. Again, I prefer the 0 0.38. Um, I know it does come in the 0.5 and 0.7. Um, this is a much more kind of bolder pen, I would say, and I haven't kind of successfully been able to highlight with this pen. It does kind of smear. Let me see if it will do it there. But um, okay, it's not so bad, but just generally, it's not my favourite pen for highlighting, which I don't generally highlight anyway. Um, but yes, this is one of my absolute favourites. The only problem is that I have a hard time finding this pen in the UK so when my friends like visit America um I ask them to pick up a couple of these for me because you can only find the 0.5 and 0.7 here for some reason um I mean you can find this one but it's like very rare and they sell out very quickly um then this is one that I saw on Mandy plans she was using this this is a pilot juice up in the 04 really really nice pen again with the stalogy <laughs> you can see sometimes it skips so it is a really lovely pen and i have used it in some of my other notebooks like when i'm just you know um doing work stuff um but yeah i did want to include it in here because it is really nice and the majority of times it's fine it does not skip definitely is not as bad as this pilot um g tech but um yeah i don't know maybe it is just me maybe other people are able to use it in their stylogies no problem but um yeah anyway uh so that's that one um then i do have my um god what are these called pen gem pens and i do have like quite a few of them but i it's really hard to get refills here so yeah i love these refills um i'm not sure which one it is but let me check for you guys i think it says it on there itself um so this is a i don't know if you can see pilot lhrf 20 c4 um, and I know pen gems and I think even jet pens might sell the refills. Again, I have to take into consideration like postage and customs and things like that when I'm ordering. Um, and I think the refills are like three or four dollars each. So and they're half size. So not cheap, um, but it is it is definitely one of my favorite pens. Again, really, really thin and nice and very, very smooth, like yeah i've never had any problems with them skipping um then i did want to show this one as well which i don't use that often but it's um a fine line pen and i've got them i've got this in like different you know like i've got 0 0.2 i've also got 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 and i think maybe even the one um but it is waterproof and fade proof. Um, so if you're looking to like have, you know, like archived records for a very, very long time, these pens are fabulous for that. You can also use them obviously on top of like watercolor after you've watercolored a page, they're not going to bleed. Um, really, really good use. And I've had this one for so long now and it's still going and I do use it quite a lot. So you definitely get your values worth from that pen. Um, this is obviously my absolute favourite that I use probably most. I do think it's exactly the same as this one, Jetstream. It's just that this is the three barreled version and this is the single version. Um, yeah, again, I do sometimes get skipping especially like if I put um, hand cream on and my hand is obviously kind of rubbing against the page here while I'm writing, when I get to the bottom of the page here, sometimes it is difficult to write. But um, other than that, I absolutely love this pen. And then I will show you my Muji pens. So I've been like buying pens from Muji like before I even joined the planner community, before I even became like a planner, just when I was in high school, like must have been like 2015, 20 something years ago. 
um, and I've always really loved, loved their pens. So these are some of my favourites. I do have them all in, um, oh, this is not a Muji pen, this is a Pilot Juice pen. I'll just show you quickly. Again, this I just bought this very recently and I love it. Very, very smooth. Uh, it does smudge a tiny bit, but, you know, again, really beautiful. Um, so, yeah, back to the Muji pens. I do have them in, like, the same pen I will have in different colours and different nib sizes as well sometimes. So, this is their ballpoint pen. It says smooth gel ballpoint. But I'm pretty sure it's not gel at all so this is in the gray in 0 0.5 and like i said i do have this in um the black and i do have it in the blue as well but i just love the gray because it's a really nice contrast in color that you know you can kind of use for notes or you know whatever else you want to add to the page that you don't need it to be so bold um so yeah i love this gray one then they have this one, which apparently now they only sell as like a pack of eight. Um, but yeah, it is a gel pen, very, very bold. So I have the black one as well somewhere and the black one is equally bold. Um, here it is. So it's a good pen if you like a really dark kind of pen. Um, so yeah, that. Those are the Muji pens. And it doesn't say what nib size they are, but it looks more like, oh, it says on the barrel, 0 0.5. Um, then I have this, which is a ballpoint pen, and this is a 0 0.7. So I don't really use this in my planner for planning because I think my handwriting just doesn't really look very neat in ballpoint pens. But it is a very, like, very smooth and clean, thin ballpoint pen that I haven't really come across before anywhere else, to be honest. Um, so I do like to have it sometimes, like, like I said, again, I will use it at the back for like work things. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice pen if you're looking for a ballpoint pen. Let me show you here. You can see. Um, again, it does come in different colours, but it only comes in 0 0.7. It doesn't come in a smaller one. I would prefer to have it like 0 0.5, but they don't do it. Um, and then this is just the standard, like classic Muji pen. Um, I have it in like so many different colours and so many different like, let me show you different sizes. So these are just some of them that I'll, I have. Um, so I've got like 0 0.38 majority of them and then I do have the pink in 0 0.5 and I do have maybe one 0 0.7 but I might have given that away, I'm not sure. So these are really beautiful gel pens. Um, they come in like so many different colours. Like if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see like whenever I go into their store, I take pictures of their, um, you know, kind of pen aisles and they are so many different colors and so many different shades so that's how they write really really nice smooth gel point pens and that's kind of it for my favorite pens um, I will sh quickly show you my three kind of highlighter highlighters that I really love um, so I Obviously, you know, the mild liners, which everybody loves, I do like them and I have the whole set of colours. And then these two are from Muji. So this is actually like a clickable highlighter pen. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you just like click it and it's really handy because, you know, you don't have to worry about lids and things like that. And it's very uh, fluorescent and it does come in lots of different colours. All the colours are very, very bright and vibrant. Um, and then this is a highlighter with a window. So I haven't actually seen these kind of highlighters anywhere before, but you basically can see through the window there what you're highlighting. So you kind of know when to stop. Um, but yeah, really, really nice precision. And on the other end of it, it does have like this kind of felt tip nib. 
so you could use it for writing as well um so and i've got like i've got a few i think i've got pink blue and i've got like maybe a purple and a yellow in this as well i'm not sure but i have like yeah <laughs> a lot of these these are definitely my favorite and you know if you've ever shopped with muji before you know that they are very inexpensive pens highlighters like just whatever everything they sell is so cheap relatively for stationery so that is my like my favorite pens and highlighters and i will show you now my favorite fountain pens so i will try and leave a link to as many of these fountain pens from aliexpress as i can uh, the rest of like the pens that you see here they are probably all linked in my amazon store which is also linked below um muji pens you will have to just go online and look for them but i will try and link um yeah i'll try and link to the ones at least that i've shown so fountain pens my very first like love of fountain pens i've had like lots of inexpensive like cheaper quality fountain pens throughout the years but this is a lamy safari in the petrol blue and it was like i think it was like an exclusive um or limited edition so i always go for like extra fine and this was really like i think it was about 35 pounds or something like that and i just fell in love with this fountain pen immediately it's just so so smooth and so beautiful and it just has never skipped it's never given me any problems ever so i do love lamy safaris um yeah and they come with like just a cartridge so you just literally pop that in there you don't have to worry about buying bottled ink and stuff like that so that is my absolute favorite fountain pen i always like reach for this um then i more recently in the last year or so have invested in a few twisby pens so i do have i think i've got like um yeah so i've got four different ones for no other reason than they are all different colors because i always will go for extra fine nib um i do have different inks in all of them as well so like that one's got blue this one has got um i think it's called enchanted ocean and it's like a shimmery one so it has like glittery stuff in there and then the other one has just plain black in it um again they are really like i think they're about 30 to 35 pounds um even though like you can see this is extra fine it isn't super super fine like i don't know maybe there are some i mean there are some fountain pens that are very very thin and um actually i do own one of them i'll show you so i do love these fountain pens um i would prefer them to be a little bit thinner than they are especially you know considering they're supposed to be extra fine but they write lovely they're definitely worth the investment um then i have a Coeco sport i do have a couple of them as well i can't find the other one but it's like oh here i have two they are really small tiny pens um i don't know if that's like what the thinking behind the design is but um anyway they are also both extra fine because i do like really thin so again really really nice um pens and if you kind of need it to be a little bit longer you can obviously use it like this so this is the coeco sport and these again are just um ink cartridges that you buy and you just push it in and you're good to go um the twisby pens you are you do have to fill like refill with a bottle so what you would do is oops anyway i'm not going to do this but you basically unscrew this when your ink is finished and then you put it in the bottle and re-screw it and you're good to go 
Um, then I have this pen, which I've discovered um, on AliExpress quite a long time ago. So I've got it in two different colours, the pink and the blue. Um, and I think Happy Scrappy did offer this in one of her sub boxes a few months after I got mine. Um, so it's a really like really um, heavy metal barreled pen. Like it actually feels like it should be a very expensive pen. Um, it's not. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how much it's going for now. I think it's the D-Like brand on, on, on AliExpress, but I picked mine up for less than a 10. I think it might have been seven or eight pounds or something like that. But you can see compared to the extra fine here, this actually is really, really fine pen. Um, again, so, so smooth and you do have to, um, fill it up with ink bottle so you just pull that out and this would go upside down in the ink bottle and you just twist the nib until it's full and then you just pop it back on again so with these pens they do require like fountain pens a little bit more care in that you do have to kind of regularly wash them through so that you know you're keeping them clean and the ink's not getting clogged up things like that I don't think I've done it more than once so far um, but these would make a really beautiful gift for people if you wanted to give like an inexpensive gift that looks really valuable um because like I said it just feels it's so heavy and feels really nice and it comes you know really in a packaged really nicely in a box as well um and then I have some Kaweco sorry not Kaweco uh, Pilot Kakuno pens they are both the same size nibs. Again, they are um, just a standard ink cartridge and they write really nice. These are also pretty inexpensive. Um, I bought mine from Amazon. I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head how much they are, but, you know, really good value for money. Honestly, they're just... Um, so so nice so I've got black ink in one and blue in the other um and I know you know nobody needs to have these many fountain pens but pens are my weakness and um yeah I've kind of built up my like pen stash over the years you know um and I'm always looking for like the perfect pen if that ever exists um lastly I have these from AliExpress as well um every time I share these I always get asked so many times like where these are from so I'll definitely leave the link below um and they do lot do lots of different colors these again are just ink cartridges oh no they're not they are refillable ones so you have to put them in the bottle and um put ink to adding to it but they are, I think they were like three pounds when I bought them. And of course, it's not going to work now. But they are really, really, um, really actually good quality. I think this one's empty. Re really good quality pens. And you can see the nibs are like kind of holographic. Um, it says Yarin. I don't know what that says there, but... Um, I will link the link, I will leave the link for it below. Sometimes I do this just to get the ink flowing. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um, but anyway, well, that's what I do. Um, so yeah, let me show you. There we go. So it, it does write very smooth. Again, it is really thin, like nice and thin. It doesn't say, I mean, it says extra fine actually, yeah. So you can buy them in different nib sizes. Um, all mine are going to be extra fine. I do find that the, even the fine ones, I think this is where I had lotion on my hand. Um, yeah, I've never, they've never really skipped. I did also buy like the clear version of this. Um, but the clear version for some reason does skip. So I wouldn't recommend the clear one, but the coloured barreled here, these ones, they work really, really well. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope that was useful. Um, these are not all the pens I own, not even all the fountain pens I own. Um, I do love pens, like I said. And so, you know, I do have tons of pens that I, li I like the option of having lots of different pens to choose from. 
but these are some of my favorites that I like to use in my Stalogy. Um, you know, different papers might take to different pens differently. Um, I know, you know, like the Midori um, paper and the Tamara River paper do take a lot of the similar pens as this. Um, so, yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I, like I said, I will try and link to as many pens as I can, but I might not be able to do it all in one go. So maybe just keep coming back um, and I will, you know, maybe try and keep adding to this video description more and more pens as I get time to do that. Um, but otherwise, if it's not linked there, then you will definitely be able to find it in my Amazon store, which is linked. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.